so I'm out of the shower and I'm going to be blow drying my hair. I'm going to use a paddle brush. This is Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Skinny Serum. This is supposed to cut your drying time. I have a lot of hair, so I'm going to use three pumps. And you put it in your hair when it's wet. And I didn't brush my hair yet. I'm going to just like run this through my fingers. My hair is super, super knotty. And it smells like, kind of smells like berries. It smells good. It's not too strong. But I'm going to show you how much hair I'm losing from doing this. My hair falls out like crazy. That's from running my fingers through it. Disgusting. Okay, so now that I have that in my hair, I am going to use the blow dryer to dry it. It is on hot, and this is, in case you were wondering, it's Infinity Pro by Conair. I used to have a um, Sultra, a Sultra um, blow dryer, and it broke after like three years, and they wouldn't replace it, they wouldn't fix it nothing like i was so upset and it was a very expensive blow dryer so i ended up getting this i think it's like 25 dollars or 30 dollar blow dryer from the drugstore and it works fine i will never ever spend a ton of money on a blow dryer i'm gonna use my brush to brush my hair while i'm blow drying it so it'll give it some sort of direction like stay straight that's what the brush does. It says stay straight to the hair. And the hair usually cooperates. Yeah, as you can see, like my hair is kind of like curling up in some spots. And hopefully the flat iron will fix that. So let's keep on blow drying. Maybe she's there to go. The fridge is real. The struggle is real. I don't believe in flat ironing your hair when it's wet. I don't even know why they sell things called wet to dry because I would never put a flat iron to my hair when it's wet. I just feel like that's dangerous. I don't know any facts. I'm not a hairdresser, but it just doesn't seem like the right thing to do. The hair straightener I'm using is called wet to straight by remington and it's actually not mine it's my aunt's and i borrowed it because i don't have one i was using a chi um hair straightener i don't know like what which one it was but it was so old and burning my hair like i could smell the burn so let me tell you guys about my waxing experience which i'm so annoyed with it's not even funny one of my friends was telling me how she gets waxed completely her legs her cooch her underarms like everything that needs to be waxed is waxed she does everything i had gotten my underarms waxed before and i had also gotten a bikini wax before which is hands down one of the most miserable things a woman can do to herself do not do it i mean Listen, if you can handle the pain, more power to you. I couldn't. It was unbearable. I was talking to my friend who does waxing, and she's like, Sam, you need to do it. I don't shave, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know what? Let me give it another shot. So I waxed my underarms. The pain was like, whatever, nothing crazy. Then she started waxing that. And she asked me beforehand, she's like, do you want chocolate wax? I'm like, well, what's chocolate wax? And she's like, oh, it hurts less. I'm like, well, sign me up. I'll take some chocolate wax. Like, yeah. Hurts less. This was so painful. And it's like, I don't know why I thought the fact that I did it five years ago would prepare me for this time. No, it, it, it doesn't at all. It doesn't. It was so painful. By the time I left, my legs and my hands were like this, shaking. I was fucking shaking. I, like, my whole body was in shock. So, that 
cost me in total for my underarms and my regime $56 I think total this was about a week ago my hair is already growing back yes it is not growing back as thick as it usually does because obviously very hairy and it's like Greek and Italian in me that you know super thick dark hair it's not growing back as thick or as rough but the point is it's growing back and it's only been a week I am so annoyed that I can't return $56 worth of a waxing experience the following days after I got waxed my Vaj was sore it was like tender and it was like it was itchy and i don't have sensitive skin but i think because she kept applying wax and ripping it off like it just irritated my skin and it was itchy and i had like actual dry skin on um, my cooch like just a dry patch of like a white dry patch of skin and it was from, you know, it was itchy and I was freaking scratching it. Like, that shouldn't happen. I had stubble the whole time. Like, I can't even say, like, oh, I got wax and for a few days I was completely clear and there was nothing. No, I had stubble the entire time. The only thing that really doesn't hurt, if anything, it kind of tickles, is your butt. Fuck. Just myself. This is really hot. I was going to stop. And just like go about my life and act like it never happened and then i look down and i see like one part look like this and the other part look like that and i'm like just finish i can't walk out of here looking like this moral of the story don't forget this is kind of like a first impression because i've never used this flat iron before I'm going to bed after this, so I'm not going to make it perfect. But really, with this flat iron, you don't have to put in much effort because it's just doing all the work for you. All straight. And I have layers in my hair, so that's why, you know, it looks a little bit choppy. But what I like to do is I like to take a chunk from the front and just run the flat iron through that. Just so it all comes together. There we go. Now I'm going to go with my favorite. It's Bio Silk. It's like a serum for your hair. And I'm going to use the size of like a nickel. Work that in your hair. So it gets nice and warm. Activate the chemicals. And then I just go underneath first because I don't want to put the majority of it on top because then it will look oily so I go in from the bottom then I come in from the back on top and then I grab it like that and I just twist it just to get all the product in there evenly. And then at this point, I would normally just look to see if there's anything else that needs to be straightened. And I'll take the front piece again and just wake that up a little bit. There you go. Clean, conditioned, flat ironed hair. As per your request. <laughs>